Hello, my name is Bree. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a pink soft glam eyeshadow look right in time for Valentine's Day. So if you're interested, keep watching. So let's get into it. I'm starting off with a blank face, no product, and I'm just clipping my hair back before we start. So I'm going in with the Dior Forever Skin Corrector. I love this concealer for covering blemishes, dark spots, redness before I put on my foundation because it's just so full coverage. So I'm going over my blemishes with the concealer. I'm going to let it dry as I do my eyes because I'm going with my eyes first today. So I'm starting with this Lancome eyeshadow palette today. I'm just going in with the lighter color that's kind of closer to my skin tone or I like to use the lighter colors to just set my eyes after using the concealer and just start the blending process. Or you can use a color that matches your skin tone but I'm just going all over the lid, nothing special with a fluffy brush. Okay, so I'm going in with this Morphe eyeshadow palette. Disclaimer, I've had this palette for years. It was like Jaclyn Hill's favorites from Morphe, her like first collab with Morphe. I will have to do my research and check if the palette or if the colors are still available at least because these are Morphe's colors. So I'm just taking that brown shade and putting it all over my lid just like before because the lighter shade was a little bit lighter than I thought and I wanted it to look more like my skin tone so. All right, yes, I know I'm going in with another discontinued palette. Clearly, I need to update my makeup. However, these colors that I'm using are colors that I'm pretty sure you can find in any warm, neutral toned palette, eyeshadow palette. So I'm just using that burnt orange red color. It looks more red on me. So I'm just using it in my crease and on the outer corner of my eye kind of going in like a V motion of the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm going back to the Lancome palette. I'm going in with a color that I knew would be the star of the show today for this eye look. I'm using my finger to apply it because as you can see, it has some shimmer in it. It's like a red, pink, almost rose goldish type of color and I think it's so pretty. Here I'm just going back with the eyeshadow brush I used for the burnt orange color just to blend in what I just added to my lid and I have no product on that brush just like whatever is left over. So now I'm going in with this color that's like a deep brown but it has like a hint of purple. It's like a, it's like a wine, it's like a wine color. <laughs> So I'm going in with that in the outer V because I wanted to add a little bit more contrast but not have it be too smoky. So that's what I'm going with. So now I'm just going back with my fluffy brush from the beginning and I'm just blending, 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 blending is the key. I try to blend after every step that I take when I'm doing my eyeshadow. So I wanted my lid color to pop more and be a little bit more dramatic so I'm just adding that purple shimmer 
to the top it's kind of like the same color but it has more of a purple tone and it, it's a little bit more shimmery Now I'm going in with my pencil brush with this light pink shade for in my inner corner. Now I'm doing the same thing but I'm just layering it with my with this champagne color. That's it for the eyes for now, so now I'm starting to blend out my concealer. Now I'm going in with one of my favorite foundations, the L'Oreal True Match in Cool Nut Brown C7. Quick disclaimer again, I have no clue what happened. My phone moved or the angle, my tripod, I don't know what happened. But as I was filming some of these shots of doing my complexion makeup, um, you know, my face was out of the frame as you can see. So I didn't focus on my whole complexion makeup because I just did another video. Well, I did two videos before this where you can see my whole process of doing my complexion. So just bear with me so I focused it on the eyes anyways that was most important Now I'm going in with my highlight concealer and this part is important because I used it to clean up the shadow around my eyes. I used it to, um, you know, just clean out and make more of a slant line at the outer corner, which you'll see when I do it. Ugh, I'm so sorry. I wish I noticed earlier that it was looking like this, but yeah, it's just, you know, normal concealer and highlight, you know, type of routine. You can see it in my previous two videos, like I said before. Okay, so now we're back to the eye makeup and we're going to work on the under eye. I'm using all the same colors I used before, but 
but I'm just use and I'm using it in the same order but I'm just using it to get that more contrast look in your water in your not waterline your under eye <laughs> I did go in with the tiniest bit of black eyeshadow, like the tiniest bit, just enough to make a little bit of a difference to just darken up the bottom la um, lash line a little bit because I just wanted to have like a little bit more contrast. It was just looking kind of blah. I was contemplating on whether or not I wanted to do a winged liner, but I ended up just, you know, lining my lash line, no wing. Just so when I do my eyelashes, add my mascara, that they look a little bit more bold. I literally do this almost every time I do my mascara. I literally take my eye out, poke my eye every time. All right, so that is a wrap. Oh, and I did end up adding false lashes, but that's totally optional, that's up to you. Um, but I just thought it would, you know, enhance the look a little bit, make it a little bit more flirty for Valentine's. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, and let me know what you loved and if you'll be recreating this look.